Dear friends, welcome to Know Thyself YouTube channel. Good morning. Hope you are all staying safe and keeping well. I sincerely thank all of you who have subscribed to this channel and follow the channel. If you find the contents of the videos uploaded in this channel useful, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification or the bell icon so that you can be notified when a video is uploaded. Kindly share the videos with others or in the internet. In the last episode of Know Your Personality segment, we considered the path of stress of Enneagram Type 2, the helper, caregiver, and the means a Type 2 person can use to handle stress. In this episode, we discuss about the path of stress of Type 3, the achiever performer, and how a Type 3 person can handle stressful situations and get back to normalcy. As a Type 3 person, you have the need to achieve and feel good about your achievements. Hence, your major source of stress is you hitting a dead end and failing to achieve your goals despite your planning and hard work. When this happens, everything begins to tumble and you get caught in a downward spiral at record speed. Occasions that can increase stress in you are when you lose your ground and don't see progress towards your goal, when you fail to accomplish things and feel that you are a failure, when you feel incompetent and being around people who are incompetent, when you are not acknowledged for what you do, when you compare yourself with others who are highly successful, when you feel worthless and undesirable, when you are not challenged and when you are around people who lack vision. As a type 3 person, when stressed, first you dip into your type 3 unhealthy traits, such as being vain, being inauthentic, and looking for validation from others. If your stress level increases, you will move towards embracing the average and unhealthy traits of type 9, the peacemaker mediator, to which your personality is linked. Some unhealthy traits of type 9 include being complacent, apathetic, self-doubting, disengaged, and retreating. Hence, as a type 3 person, when stressed, at first under the influence of type 3 shadow traits, you act in a vain and inauthentic manner, looking for validation from others. You push yourself hard to achieve your goals, thereby prove yourself as a worthy and successful person, standing out amidst a crowd of mediocre individuals. When you hit a dead end in your efforts and do not achieve success, you punish yourself by burning yourself out trying to prove yourself to be the best at whatever you do. However, when your stress level increases, under the influence of type 9 shadow traits, your confidence and optimism slip away, and you suddenly flip into being listless, apathetic, lethargic, procrastinating, and chronic daydreaming, adopting a lax and easygoing attitude. You who are usually focused and driven, let loose your energy in doing unproductive work, lazying around and getting caught up in fantasies about your next big success instead of actually doing anything. This new approach will increase your stress further when you find heaps of unfinished work and blank checklists which would make you feel hypersensitive. However, you will avoid facing your negative feelings. Instead, you will attempt to show that everything is fine with you. Become a people pleaser. In the process, you become self-forgetting at the cost of your own personal identity and integrity. You as a type 3 person can beat your stress by using your stress number type 9 positively 
by embracing healthier traits of type 9. This would mean you are open-minded and non-judgmental about your situation. You give credit to yourself even if you are not fully succeeding in everything you plan and undertake. You feel good about yourself even if nobody is patting on your back. And you go with the flow instead of striving too hard. Concretely, it would imply you begin to believe that success does not merely consist in getting things checked off your list of achievements and having constant acknowledgement from others for success. But success also involves having thriving relationships, being your authentic self, doing new and interesting activities outside your career and work, and helping people to discover their identities, motivate them to develop their full potential, being their mentor, and enjoy watching them grow. Similarly, instead of looking at what you have not achieved, you also focus on what you have achieved. Appreciate yourself and be thankful to the divine and other people. You make your stress an occasion for bringing about changes in your life. You connect with others without work-related goals in mind, but to know them, to appreciate them for what they are, to be grateful to them for what they do for you, and to build up deep relationship with them. Likewise, you attempt to connect with your true self and the vulnerable dimension of your personality, thereby free yourself from what your ego thinks will make you look good so that you can free yourself from the path of decline and stress. Here are a few tips you can follow to help a type 3 person who is experiencing stress. Help him to take off his mask of competence and capability. Help him to be aware of his body and recognize his physical needs. Encourage him to talk about his feelings. Listen patiently to what bothers him without judging him and give him quiet time to de-stress and decompress. Be authentic with your vulnerabilities and share with him. This will help him to feel safe being vulnerable with you. Open him towards creative avenues such as writing, drawing, listening to music and the like as creative activities help type 3 people tremendously. Be generous to acknowledge his success and be grateful to him for the help he has offered you. As a type 3 person, free from stress and being your authentic self, with your ability to be the best in your job, with your mentoring ability, being a person of great ambitions, with your self-confidence and willingness to do whatever it takes to achieve success, and as an honest and self-honoring role model, you can truly make a difference in the organization you serve, in the life of others, and that of yourself. Thank you for watching this video. Stay blessed until we see you again with another video.